Best for soil. Solarization. Practical information. Hello, my name is Miguel and I am working in Almira in the south of Spain. Here, solarization is more commonly used and in this best for soil video, you will learn how and under what conditions this method works. Soil solarization is a soil disinfection method for disease control. As such, it aims to reduce, prior to planting, the pathogen inoculum existing in the soil. The final goal is to achieve an economic reduction of the disease for at least one season. Soil solarization involves covering the soil, which has been adequately moistened, with a transparent and thin polyethylene or specific plastic film for a minimum of four weeks in the period of the year with the highest temperatures and sun radiation. These conditions are vital for a successful solarization and therefore this technique is not useful for all regions in Europe. Solarization can work well in areas with a Mediterranean climate, which means sunny and hot summers, with the period from June to August being the best period for a good solarization. The interest in solarization started when growers and other practitioners noticed that plastic mulched soils reached higher temperatures than non-mulched. They wondered whether this temperature increase could be enough to control pathogens existing in the soil, particularly in intensively cultivated soils. With this aim, conditions close to pasteurization were designed by drenching the upper layers of the soil and heating it with solar radiation. The temperature level reached in solarized soils in Mediterranean areas during the summer can be lethal for most plant pathogenic soil-borne nematodes and fungi. Peak temperatures of over 45 degrees Celsius are usually obtained at 20 centimeters depth, the depth where most of the pathogens live. Thus, this method can reduce the level of inoculum in soils by means of thermal inactivation of pathogens. The thermal lethal effect of solarization can be combined with organic amendments. This is called biosolarization and implies the addition of organic matter into the soil before adding water and covering with plastic mulch. Biosolarization combines the benefits of solarization with those attributed to organic matter decomposition, meaning the production of biocompounds lethal to pathogens, the increase of non pathogenic microbial communities, and other improvements linked to soil health and fertilization. The benefits of solarization are higher when combined with organic amendments animal manure, green manure, crop residues or biofumigant crops can be used as organic matter sources. There are many examples of effective control of soil-borne pathogens with biosolarization and solarization. Nematodes and fungi have been extensively studied in laboratory and field trials. Some examples are pathogenic Fusarium of carnation, melon, tomato or cucumber. Futuftora capsici and Futuftora parasitica, Melodegina incognita, Melodegina javanica, Veticillium dahlia, Rhizoctonio solani, Pyrinocheta lycopersici or Pratilentius tonei.